So we've had uh, a little kind of youth private view of uh, this exhibition. So the exhibition that we're standing in at the moment uh, is of the Burton's permanent collection. So we thought, okay, well, we, we want to make a selection. We want to show some of these paintings. People really like them. And it's an interesting range of different artists and styles. But we'd like to try and engage young people with the choice of these uh, pictures. So what we did was uh, working with uh, the local youth service space uh, to go over with essentially copies of the images that we can see, see in the gallery today and to post those around in one of their big sports rooms and say to them, OK guys, like, this, is, this is what you can choose from, make your selection. And they have, and they've made some really interesting kind of choices. We also said to them, well OK, you can pick the paintings, but it would be really interesting to know why. You know, what is it about this thing that you like or what is it that impresses you or what do you like about this art style or whatever. And again, what we've done is we've captured those uh, comments, those phrases, we've put some of those into the display labels here in the gallery and then in the show itself, we've invited people, particularly young people, this evening to come along and add additional levels of comment. I was involved in selecting the different paintings and I also wrote some stuff about the different paintings and why I like them. This is my favourite painting. Um, I really like it because it seems like there's um, a storm that's just clearing and it looks like there could be a boat that's sinking and it's a bit sad because if it, the boat had been able to stay afloat a few minutes longer it might have survived through the storm. When we were looking for them we were working to think about the whole space and how everything would fit together not just like a few. I like the colours and I like how like the waves are all kind of, they're not just all simple, it's like all different, like going everywhere kind of. This is my favourite one because it looks very realistic and uh, the strokes on the brush make it look like there's fur on the top of the cows. And we did this in as informal a way as possible, so there was quite a lot of, oh, it's a bit bad to do like that and oh, it's just pictures of old people. But then once young people had kind of gone and had a look for a couple of times and they would, they would pick their favourite picture. And it created a space that allowed them to then reflect without it feeling, I think, contrived. That's why I was drawn to the fact that this picture was part of the exhibition as well. Because I had a really good conversation with a young person who connected with this picture, not specifically because of the way the artist had portrayed the storm, just the fact that it was a storm that he felt reminded him of where he goes to surf. And when he's in a when he's in a bad space or he's feeling challenged or he's just everything, you just want to go rah. This represents the kind of thing he'd like to surf in because it's really challenging. And I found that really interesting because it did a very similar thing for me, not that I'd want to go surfing in that, but I'd want to sit on those rocks and just feel the power of the weather. It's, it's, there's so much life and action. And it's like sitting on the end of Greencliffs, it really is. So, I'd sit there, the young man I was chatting to, he'd want to be in there. But we were both drawn to the same picture. I've enjoyed it, probably because you don't often get to see art in every day and what you see is like really quite blocky and colourful. You don't really see anything that's like calm and peaceful. Even if you're not just a fan of art, if you're, like, you're out with your friends and it's cold out and you just want to come in and just warm up, then that's fair enough. Like It's not just like it's friendly here, it's fun, so I guess it's a good reason. To... It's a great opportunity to see different paintings from different artists. For us, we're connecting young people with a collection that was here before them and will only be here after them if they're involved and if when they're older they bring their children to come and see it and their children into this space. Hi. Um, so there are young people in the gallery right now on a Tuesday evening. That wouldn't have happened. And with the best will in the world, had Warren and Julian said, Andy, can you bring young people over from the youth centre to the permanent collection, the exhibition that we've got on? I would try, out of respect for what I think is an amazing exhibition, an amazing gallery, an amazing facility and resource, I, it's voluntary engagement, young people would probably have said no. They, they have a stake in this, because they picked it. 
they have a stake in this because some of their quotes are up here, mm -hmm. you know. And I do feel that's been done with integrity. This, um, this is just proper sick. It relates to me and my surfing. That's a direct quote. It's not been homogenised and it, it, it's not been um, PC'd or made fluffy. So this has more integrity. They're a part of our community. They're a part of our community who very often um, don't have access to the things that maybe they did as, as, as children and yet don't yet have access to the things that they will do as fully uh, fledged adults. And so this is a community that's very much in flux. Uh, it's a community which often has a lot of um, uh, stresses and tensions within it. Uh, for, you know, young, young, young people's lives are not straightforward and, and easy necessarily. And so uh, I think that what we're trying to do is we're trying to help young people realise that this is a space for them and for their kind of expression. You know, it's one of the things that we really want. The other thing is that at the Burton, um, myself personally, we, we genuinely believe in the transformative power of art. Right? So art is one of these things that can take us out of ourselves, it can give us a new perspective on the world, it can really change things. And when we're in that time when we're trying to make sense of the world, this can be a really valuable resource. We have to engage with those young people because they are going to be our advocates, they're going to be the friends of the Burton, they're going to be people working in the sector in the future and you know, we want to be part of, part of that story with them.